Hello, my name is Matt Rabel and this is a screencast showing you how to get started with Spring Boot, SAML, and Okta. The first thing you'll need to do is to create a developer account at Okta. You can do that by going to developer.okta.com. Once you're there, you'll just enter your email, first name, last name, and company. And then once you have that account, you can log into it. And the first screen you'll see is the developer console. To create a SAML application, you actually have to switch to our classic UI. That's up in the top left corner. Once you're there, you can click on Add Applications in the top right. And then you can click on Create New App and select SAML 2.0. And then we're using Spring here, so let's just name it Spring SAML. And then for the single sign-on URL, use just localhost. The slash SAML slash SSO is hard-coded in Spring Security DSL, so you're unable to change that even if you do change the regular URL. And then similar with the SAML slash metadata. And click Finish or Next. And then say I'm an Okta customer adding an internal app, and this is an internal app, that means it won't be listed as an Okta integration network application. Click Finish. And then the Identity Provider Metadata URL is listed on the next screen, and you can copy it now or you can come back and get it later. I'll come back and get it later. Um, you will need to assign some users to your application so you can actually log in. So use the account that you signed up with or create new accounts if you'd like and now you'll need to create a Spring Boot application best place to do that is start.spring.io and here you'll select web or security web time leaf and dev tools click generate project and then spring security SAML DSL is a project that hasn't been released to the general public yet so you'll have to configure spring to use a milestone release and uh, and have this dependency in your palm.xml And then in your application.properties, you'll configure everything to run over SSL and to point to your metadata URL. So you can grab that from your application under the sign on tab. And then because you're running using SSL or HTTPS, you'll need to create a certificate. So CD into source main resources, create a SAML directory there. And then you'll need to CD into it and run this key tool command. And use secret as the password or whatever you want to specify in your application.properties. And then you can just enter blanks for most things until you get to the confirmation, then type yes. And uh, there you go, and now you should have a keystore.jks. The next thing you'll need to do is to write a security configuration.java file that pulls in these properties and configures everything for SAML. and then an index controller that just basically says hello world you made it and then that points to an index.html since we're using timeleaf and you can put that into source main resources templates 
and just name it index.html. Now you should be able to run your application either from your IDE or from the command line. And you will get warnings in your browser when you do load up localhost 8443 but you can or should be able to click through those. This is just because you have a local certificate that's not trusted. And you'll see since I was already logged into my org it says hello SAML. I hope this helps you create Spring Boot applications with SAML. Have a nice day.